Thank you, Pastor. Everybody praise the Lord. This is your day. The power of God coming upon your life. The Lord has seen your determination and your faithfulness and your steadfastness. And because of that, double triple miracle upon you today in jesus name father we thank and bless your name mighty god the god of all possibilities and the god that cannot fail all your children all your people here at the alpha location and in every congregation all over in africa in america in europe in asia everywhere we're asking lord as your people faithfully and they wait on you tonight i pray no one will be disappointed in jesus name fulfill your word in every life thank you lord we know it is done in jesus name we pray the lord bless everyone abundantly today in jesus name tonight we're coming to a covenant with god the topic tonight is the covenant of permanent freedom now and ever the covenant of permanent freedom now and ever in hebrews chapter 10 i'm looking at verse 16 hebrews chapter 10 verse 16 this is the covenant that i will make with them after those days here is the lord himself saying he wants to make a covenant with you a covenant with us a covenant with the people of faith it says this is the covenant that i will make with them after those this says the lord i will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds and will write them in verse 17 it says and their sins and iniquities will i remember no more he'll take away every sin from everyone and the consequences of sin that had been piled up there he'll take everything away the covenant it does like the covenant of marriage the covenant between a man and a woman and they stay together they stick together they fellowship together they live together and they interchange blessings with each other until death do them part now the covenant of god with you is until death do join you know the man the woman on earth they're humans and until death parts them that covenant stands but the covenant with god is until death joins you with him in eternity all the blessings of that covenant all the promises in that covenant and all the benefits and all the blessings of that covenant will remain until your life ends here and the death joins you with the eternal god tonight the covenant of permanent freedom now and ever three points we're looking at number one commitment to the covenant 
of reciprocal faithfulness. That word reciprocal. The faithfulness is coming to you from God. And your faithfulness is going back to God because it's reciprocal. It flows to you and yours flows to him. Commitment to the covenant of reciprocal faithfulness. Number two is the cancellation of the curse with redemptive freedom redemptive freedom a kind of freedom that redeems you from every curse and every consequence of sin number three continuing with christ in a righteous fellowship a fellowship with him togetherness with him enjoying everything he has and he enjoying your fellowship enjoying your service enjoying your commitment unto him let's come to number one number one commitment to the covenant of reciprocal faithfulness you know god is faithful his promises are yes and amen and his power comes on your life every time in every way at every point of need and God saves that faithfulness flowing to you will continue until he has fulfilled all the promises and then reciprocal you remember him you read this word you pray to him you surrender to him you submit to him and every area of your life committed unto him look at genesis chapter 28 verse 15 genesis chapter 28 verse 15 and behold i am with thee now and ever today and every day in every situation you find yourself at home away from home he says behold i am with thee there's the almighty god talking to jacob there's the almighty god talking to the justified those who are justified by faith those who come to the lord and they come to the lord by faith in christ God, the faithful God, he gives us the assurance. He says, behold, I am with thee and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest. Every place you go at the point of duty, every place you go to serve the Lord, to serve the people of God and to do what God has ordained that you will do. He says, I am with you. And I will go with you to all places whither thou goest and will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave you. That the covenant he has made with us, he says, as redeemer. I will not leave with, I will not leave you. And my redemption will not leave you. As Savior. I will not leave you and my salvation will not leave you as the healer I will not leave you and my healing will not leave you as a deliverer he says I will not leave you and my deliverance will not leave you he says as your provider I will not leave you and my provision will not leave you that's the covenant that's the covenant but remember it's a reciprocal kind of covenant and faithfulness that at what he says I will not leave you you also you reply i will not leave you god will not leave you and you will not leave the lord for i will not leave thee until i have done that which i have spoken to thee of he says he has spoken to you and as he has spoken to you he will not leave you 
and you will not leave it. Second Corinthians chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 14. Second Corinthians chapter 5, reading from verse 14. For the love of Christ constraineth us. That comes to us. The covenant between husband and wife is that covenant is stapled together, cemented together, abiding together by love. And the covenant we have with the Almighty God is based on love, is built on love, and it progresses by love. It says its love will be with us. And the love of Christ constraineth us because we thus judge that if one died for all, you remember, he died for you, so that he can give you salvation, he can give you redemption, he can give you healing, he can give you everything you are asking. Ask, it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Can you imagine the wife knocking at the door and the husband is inside? The door will be open. Can you imagine the husband asking for something? It will be given. Can you imagine a, a spouse seeking from the other one, from the other half? It will be given the same thing because he has covenant with us. A covenant that is greater. A covenant that is higher. A covenant that is more stable than the covenant between husband and wife. You know what will happen when you ask? He will give you. And when you seek, you will find. And when you knock, the door will be opened unto you and it says for the love of christ constraineth us because with us judge that if one died christ died then we're all dead because he died for us we die now to the things he doesn't love to the things he rejects and to the things he detests in our life we die to all of them we die to sin we die to the world we die to the temptations that are coming from the world and we die to the suggestions of the devil look at verse 15 in verse 15 it says and that he died for all that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves but unto him which died for them arose again and you see the two-way traffic one traffic is faithfulness coming to you and then the other traffic your own faithfulness going back to god one traffic everything you say you want he does everything that's one way the other way everything he says he desires and he demands from you you do it is that reciprocal faithfulness that makes the covenant between you and the savior between you and the lord to continue we're coming to point number two now point number two we're looking at the cancellation of the curse with redemptive freedom the cancellation of the curse any curse the curse of the law any curse the curse from the world any curse the curse from tradition or traditionalism any curse the curse from the wicked one he says now there's the cancellation of the curse with redemptive freedom a kind of freedom that brings redemption total redemption in our lives in numbers chapter 23 we're looking at verse 19 numbers chapter 23 verse 19 god is not a man a faithful god not a man 
the mighty God, not a man. And the deliverer, the healer, and the blesser is not a man that he should die. Neither the son of man that he shall repent that he is that he shall change his mind he says i will never leave you he doesn't change his mind i will not forsake you he doesn't change his mind i will bless you on the basis of the reciprocal faithfulness it doesn't change his mind it says you turn to me and i will turn to you reciprocal it doesn't change his mind it says to walk in the way of the lord the highway of holiness and he doesn't change his mind it says then you will sing with joy and you will come the redeemed of the lord will come with joy and singing in their mouth he does not change his mind he says god is not a man fickle men feeble men undependable men. Uh -uh. god is not like that he say god you can depend on god is not a man that he shall repent neither the son of man that he shall repent as he said and shall he not do it as he is spoken and shall he not make it good everything he has spoken he makes good everything he has spoken he fulfills for us and one of the things he has spoken is that he will cancel the curse he will remove the curse coming from the wicked coming from mr terrible coming for mrs terrible he says he will remove every cause and it will break every yoke in your life even tonight it will be done in jesus name has he spoken blessing in your life and shall he not make it good as he declared redemption total redemption in your life and will he not do it look at verse 20 there behold i have received commandment to bless the commandment to bless christ came and the lord sent him for the commandment to bless you and he says i have received commandment to say the same thing that moses had said to israel moses had declared the blessings of god for israel and now balaam was invited by balak that he will reverse that blessing and bring a curse on the redeemed people of the lord and he said i come now and i've received the commandment to bless what the blessing that Moses had declared unto the nation and I come to you Jesus Christ had declared the blessing on everyone that will repent everyone that will come to the father by him everyone that will place their faith that will focus their faith on Christ and then anyone that comes all he can do is to confirm is to repeat and is to tell you the blessing that Christ has already purchased and provided and as you pray all those blessings will come upon your life behold I have received commandment to bless and he has blessed and I cannot reverse it and christ has blessed blessed us with the blessing of salvation and the blessing of healing and the blessing of deliverance and the blessing of his satisfied saturated life and the blessing of the fullness of the gospel and like balaam could not reverse that blessing no one can reverse your blessing today look at verse 21 in verse 21 he has not beheld iniquity in jacob that's the reciprocal faithfulness that's the reciprocity that god in faithfulness brings blessing to your life and you in appreciation 
in gratitude for what the Lord has done. You also, you depart from iniquity. You repent of iniquity. You say, if God is so good, if God is so kind, if God is so gracious, then I will respond to God. Every form of iniquity, visible, public, private, every form of iniquity in the secret, in the open, hands up. I will not do them again. He has not been held iniquity in Jacob, neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord is God is with him. The Lord is God is with him. That's why the curse cannot touch you anymore. The Lord is with you and you are with the Lord and where the Lord is there's freedom, there's liberty, there's no curse and because of the presence of the Lord with you you're not putting your hand in any dirty thing you're not soiling your life in any dirty sin. You're not going in the secret, practicing something dirty and defiling. Because of that, the Lord is God is within. And the shout of a king, the joy of a king, the jubilation of a king, the rejoicing of a king, and the praises of a king will be among them. In verse 22, God brought them out of Egypt. He had a it were the strength of an unicorn in verse 23 it says surely there is no enchantment against jacob there's no enchantment against the just against the justified all the enchantment all the incantations and everything the enemy may, pro may pronounce negatively against your life is cancelled in jesus name and neither is there any divination against Israel according to this time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel what God has wrought what God has done look at Proverbs chapter 26 verse 2 Proverbs chapter 26 verse 2 as the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse, causeless, shall not come. The curse, causeless, shall not come. Look up here if you can. Look at the cross. The Lord Jesus Christ dying on the cross. Before the cross, that side, the cross was there. And we caused it. Our sins, our transgression, all the things we did caused the cause. And so the causes that came before the cross, we caused them. And now we come to the cross of Christ. We kneel and bend and bow and surrender at the cross of Christ and he takes condemnation away he takes all the guilt away he takes the cause away that we brought and as we got the forgiveness and the salvation we don't go back to the place of the curse anymore we cross over to the right side of Calvary and the right side of the cross and on this right side after we meet Christ there's no cause for the cause he has removed the curse he has taken the curse away and now we're no more walking on the left hand side where the curse was caused by us but now we live a life that is set free a life 
of a saved man, a saved woman. And we're on this side now, and now on this side, no cause in your life. After you met Christ, no cause in your life. After you are redeemed, no cause in your life. That's why it says, the curse, causeless, shall not come. Come to Christ and all the causes are cancelled in Jesus' name. I come now to point number three. Point number three, we're looking at continuing with Christ in a righteous fellowship. Now we come to Christ and we come to Christ in a righteous fellowship. He lives in us and we live in him. And the life we now live, we live by the faith of the Son of God. And because of that, He, the only begotten Son of God, me, the born again Son of God. You see, He is the only beloved Son of God. And you are now born again Son of God born again daughter of God and his blessing is on you his presence is with you all the time and because of that kind of timely timeless tested blessing of the Lord that you carry now you'll be in fellowship with him and there'll be joy in your life there will be satisfaction in your life. And there will be fullness and fulfillment in your life in Jesus' name. Hey, look at um, Acts of the Apostles chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 40 there. Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 verse 40. And with many other words did he testify and exhort saying, Save yourselves from this unto what generation this cruel generation this corrupt corrupted generation save yourself christ came to save you and as he saves you you will not remain in the corruption you will not remain in the degradation you will not remain in the defilement where you were before you met him and before he met you and the people responded like you are going to respond i said like you are going to respond and like you have responded since we came on thursday you have responded you have given your life to the lord and now you want to continue in fellowship with him look at verse 41 in verse 41 it says then they that gladly received his word they that gladly received his word it's good to receive but then there's an attitude you have it's like if you want to give your life to the lord are you going to drop all that alcohol all that tobacco and all that adultery and all that fornication if you're going to receive the lord and you're going to drop all that defilement raise up your hand and then you're there and uh, your mother then said did you hear that raise up your hand and then because your mother said that reluctantly grudgingly you raise up your hand you are not glad but when you hear that christ has come and christ has brought salvation to us he has brought redemption to us and he has brought freedom for us and if you want that freedom and you're going to be free from that alcohol and that tobacco and that adultery and that fornication if you're going to be free from all those defilements and before we say raise up here you know what we're going to say you shoot up your hand you gladly you joyfully repent and turn away from every evil sin and you have jesus christ and you embrace him i want him those are the people those are the people that receive the redemption of the lord and they come into righteousness and they come into righteous fellowship with the lord then they that gladly received this word they were baptized and the same day one day one message 
one meeting and one challenge and one altar call it says the same day there were added unto them about three thousand souls you know somebody was there counting and some people were there writing their names so that they will bring them to the assembly and to the fellowship of those who believe in the lord that's exactly what we're doing it's biblical it's scriptural that as you offer yourself as you surrender yourself as you give yourself body soul and spirit and you totally belong to the lord now he will do what he has promised he will do in your life and your name will not only be written here on earth your name will be written in the book of life in heaven a good good amen those three thousand converts to become disciples and followers of the lord jesus christ what did they do look at verse 42 and it says in verse 42 and they all of them and they all of them continued when the counselors when they go to visit them you gave your life to the lord i have your card and i want to come and share fellowship with you and i want to invite you to a fellowship a grand fellowship with the lord jesus christ our savior redeemer and deliverer these three thousand none of them said ah, thank you very much i only raised up my hand i have my own religion i have my own leaders the sanhedrin i have the people i fellowship with and uh, you know we do all sorts of things and we play all sorts of tricks and so uh, uh, thank you for coming but i'm not no these people these were the people that are joyfully and cheerfully and gladly rejected every evil and now after that night it says they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread and in prayers and then in verse 43 verse 43 it says and fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles as uh, we continue in fellowship with the people of God and with Christ miracles will continue in our lives signs and wonders will continue in our lives as we're going back every place all of us who have given our lives to the lord that we're meeting together with people of like precious faith miracles will be there signs and wonders will be there every need that we may still have the lord will clear everything away and the lord will be a great blessing in your life and the power and the strength and the pardon and the salvation you have received here will continue in jesus name tonight we're going to give you the opportunity to still come and to say i'm going to seal my decision with the lord i'm going to seal it up with this final decision and surrender and commitment to the lord and then you are going to promise the lord i will continue in fellowship the lord will see that commitment and that consecration and as you continue the blessings of the lord will continue in your life will continue in my life the lord confirmed that from heaven upon you in jesus name it's bowed and eyes closed it's bowed and eyes closed you are surrendering yourself fully now to the lord completely to the lord and you're saying there is no looking back 
there is no going back i come to christ now and i bend the knee in my mind i surrender my whole life unto the lord lord see me receive me raise up that hand anywhere you are you raise up the hand and you know you've stayed and you have endured till this time uh, do this important thing now don't let anything hinder or disturb you raise up that hand and say lord here am i i surrender i give myself completely unreservedly steadfastly unto you and if you are doing that you stand up with your hands raised online this is your chance on radio television do that now every congregation everywhere you are do that now it's a great chance for you you don't want to miss raise up your hand and you stand up let's pray together father in the wonderful merciful name of jesus we come to you that these people who have responded joyfully and they have responded cheerfully they have responded from the depths of their heart and their mind that they come to christ now i pray forgive them in jesus name and i pray you wipe all their sins away and the consequences of sin and the causes of their lives and the trauma the trouble that have been following them because of their sin wipe them away in jesus name and give them the grace and the strength and the power to reciprocate that as you forgive them they will not follow you thank you lord for the answer confirm that salvation confirm that freedom confirm the coming into fellowship with christ in jesus name i pray amen briefly let, let's uh, let's do what we need to do a counselors god bless you and uh, let's reach out to those who raised up their hands many people are standing but you look for the people that are standing and raising up their hand uh, and the lord will help them uh, and the grace of god will continue their lives we're calling on our overseer that is moderating tonight to help us and then after that you'll have the final miracle prayer that will grant you miracle power continuously in your life pastor please come please give your names the names you are known by in where you live write in capital letters then put your phone numbers also your whatsapp number make sure your phone number is 11 digits don't omit anything whatsoever name you are you are known by where you live give that very name so that we can locate you and be of further help to you if you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message now this evening, there's a link in your play, below your player. Visit it and fill the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Perhaps you are listening via radio or television and you just gave your life to the Lord. Send your name, your phone number, your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to plus 234-915-4540. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Do that quickly. The rest of us let's be committing unto the Lord. Why we came this night? 
that today being the last night, today is the last night of your problem. You will not go with it. There will be a special, there will be special believers banquet, as we have said earlier, for all those who gave their life to Christ during the crusade on Sunday 3rd of March 2024 in our church, in our various churches globally, all over the world. For those of us here, it's a true Mudara here in our main auditoria. So you come there and by the grace of God, the pastor will be delighted you are there. Alpha Location Banquet on Sunday, 3rd, March 2024. At Deeper Life Camp, Grand Room Udara, along East West Road, Port Harcourt, 3 p.m. Ushers, counselors, when you are true, let us know. Get ready for your miracle. That problem, you will not see it again. Get ready. The only word you can say to that problem is bye-bye forever. And the only words you can say to it, you won't see them again. The man of God is, full, is fully loaded to command Go to the problems. You won't see them again. They cannot be there. They can't resist. The name of Jesus from his mouth. They cannot resist it. Counselors remain where you are there to assist the people as who are going to prayer now. If you are finished in any of the sides, in my right hand side, indicate by raising up the flag with you there. If you finish at the middle, indicate as where. That is directly opposite me here. At my left hand side, which is your right hand side, if you finish, indicate. Ushers, uh, counselors, locate where they need more people. I quickly go there to help, then you come back to your position. Start saying bye bye to your problems. They must go. Pharaoh must go. Every problem in your life must go. Today is the last night. Today is your last night. They cannot remain with you. Just get ready. At the middle here, have you finished? Indicate, please. Okay. God bless you at my left hand side. Yes. At the right, at, the, at my left hand side, that's your right. Indicate. God bless you. Let's please rise up now. In preparation for this miraculous hour, a minute and second. It's the Lord. The Lord is visiting you now. When is your miracle, your healing, your deliverance? is confirmed from heaven 
raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge the lord knows you already he sees you already he sees the heartache he sees the concern he's doing that wonder now shout now father we love you we trust you we believe you we have faith in you you are a good god a merciful god a powerful god lord jesus we thank you we praise your name for the complete work of redemption of redemption you did at calvary and it's just for you for us now to present ourselves to you and the miracle of healing deliverance you will do now lord i pray for everyone you love everyone and you're going to bless everyone heal everyone in jesus name wipe their tears away take their pains away let this time be the time of the end of all pain of all sickness of all infirmity in jesus name here right left center online on the television the radio anywhere your people are confirm the miracle healing and miracle deliverance now in jesus name we thank you lord you are never late it is done it is done confirm it in everyone now in jesus name thank you lord thank you lord everything is all right in your body in your life on your children and your wife everyone everything is now all right in jesus name we pray